Okay, so last night I finished up uh, building all the lights um, to the point where I need to bring them over to the uh, tank and the canopy and start setting stuff up and actually mounting the drivers and everything on the canopy. So the first thing I'm going to start with this morning is getting the T5HO out of there so it's not in my way. And then uh, I'll bring over the heat sinks with the LEDs on them, get those mounted on my uh, racks, how I've got them up there, and just continue uh, putting it all together. Okay, I removed the light and then I brought over the LED heat sinks and placed them. How I'm hanging them basically off of those boards is just from a bolt with a wing nut on the end and some washers in between. Nothing real special, but it took me a little bit to figure out the best way to get them to hang up and slide them in by the heat sinks just having that little notch in it. I was able to get the bolts on there already and then slide them on to the end of the bolt. So I got those done and at the same time I went on and hooked the wires to each you know, uh, other heat sink while I was at it. Okay, so I've got the heat sinks mounted right now. Um, one complaint I have about these LEDs, it's not really, um, you know, it, it's just how these, these lenses are made. They are so touchy. Like, if you just bump them, they fall off. Um, hence why, yes, last night I had to put some super glue on a couple, but... With that being said, I do have everything uh, hung up there, so now I can uh, start mounting the drivers and wiring those in. But yeah, I'm not liking those little lenses, but you have to have them to project the light down into the tank. Okay, so here I'm mounting the drivers to the canopy with some just some regular wood screws. And at the same time, I am also wiring them into the positive and negative on the LEDs. I've also got the positive and negative that goes to my Typhoon controller. And then I've got a hole that goes out the back for the power cord. And I'm not really for sure why, but I do apologize for the... the unfocused video here kind of to the end of this stretch okay so I've got all the drivers hooked up and wired I'm not really uh, you know bundling the wires up and kind of tucking them away um, I've got some little uh, tacks that you know I can run the wires actually around the edges to make it kind of look nice and clean but I'm not doing that yet just for the uh, the deal of one if something works and two I'm just trying to get finished up today so the lights are on and I can pretty much stop for the weekend uh, I'll you know do the cleanup next weekend but uh, right now I'm uh, in the process of wiring up the lights uh, so we'll get those wired up and then um, I'm pretty sure I'm ready to uh, plug in the controller and see if everything works so get back to work here in this part I needed to add some extra wire to the the wire splices on the fans so that's basically all I'm doing here is splicing in some extra wire since the three-way was not long enough Alright, so I've got the lights on now, uh, done some testing and checking on everything. It all looks like it's working good. Um, right now I've got the, let's see, uh, got my, all my day lights on. So 
if I look at my timer, it's basically uh, the cool whites are running 75%, the natural white is 80%, the royal blues are 75 and of course the moonlights aren't on. Um, so I'll do an update as the weeks go on, I'll increase and as I get more plants in here too. I'll increase. Um, I don't want to, you know, over put too much light on the system uh, really quick to uh, start a big algae um, growth. So we'll see how it goes, but that's what it looks like. Um, let me uh, get the uh, camera down and I'll show you what the tank looks like. So here's the tank, um, nice and bright. It'll actually push a little bit more light to the back once I kind of close the hood. Because um, right now they're they're tilted more to the front with that hood up like that. And also, um, the water still needs to be changed. Uh, it's kind of murky from the, the tannins in the water. Um, from the full week of the wood, you know, seeping that stuff out. So it needs to change so the water's not as clear as it could be which will make the lights even look brighter um, and it will even help the plants more but that's what it looks like so I'll keep updating and let you know how the lights progress but talk to you guys later thanks